Okay, so this is um, a ceramic heater that is out of a different piece of instrumentation that um, Avion would like to actually emulate. And so this is about four and a half inches long. We'll get the specs on what they're actually looking for. They're looking to run this on uh, 48 volts and it's going to be around 240 watts. Um, the interesting thing is we've got an inside diameter that is... So is the inside diameter specific for a particular reason? Uh, mostly only because there's a piece that actually has to fit into it. There's actually a nozzle piece in the inside that, that fits into that. And so that fits in that on this actually, end? That we actually spray. That's what sprays into the tube. Okay. So there's a nozzle on the inside. So the ID is for the spray that goes in on this side. Yeah. And um, the way this is mounted right now, this goes into a cavity, and there are spring-loaded pins that provide the power to this thing. And the pins themselves go inside of these, these holes and the springs hold these uh, connectors against the, these uh, pads that are on this. It, um, it looks as though there are two circuits on this specific design and potentially a ground plane. Um, I'm not exactly sure about that, but it looks as though the heater in this case is just wrapped around the outside of this and it looks like it's probably alumina as opposed to aluminum nitride. Um, and yeah, so we'll get sketches based on the form factor that we need. Um, and we may not need as much power as this is because the mass will be significantly lower because the, the uh, gas will be flowing through from this end out and it'll be, if it's in direct contact with the aluminum nitride on the inside of that diameter, we may be able to get away with um, a lot less power. But we can do that when we, we figure that out. So I'll send this off to Steve and the boys.